Okay, let us discuss problem number 1.89. So this is problem 1.89. So this is an easy problem. So it says a cyclist rides along a circumference of a horizontal plane of radius r, circular horizontal plane of radius r. The friction coefficient depends only on the radius r from the center is given by so friction coefficient is given by this equation k naught 1 minus r by r where k is friction coefficient and k is a constant k naught is a constant friction coefficient a k naught is a constant find the radius of circle for which the velocity is maximum and what is this velocity so I have to find what is the radius for which velocity is basically maximum now see uh, what is the friction you have 1 minus r by r if you see friction at r is equals to 0 this is maximum k naught if r increases friction decreases so when r is equals to r friction is 0 r by r 1 so this is 0 friction coefficient is 0 so you see you have a something circular of this kind of thing and there is a center so this is the center are you getting so this is the center so now if you are close to the center so this is O if you are close to the center you have more friction if you are away from the center you have less friction so you are going away less friction so there is a more friction coefficient there is a less friction coefficient and when r is equals to r when a small r is equals to capital r basically so let me write when a small r is equals to capital r friction coefficient is basically zero so at that point there is a no friction we have to find what is the r for which the velocity is maximum so let us say this is the r this motor bike is moving over this horizontal circle so what is the force that is acting along the radial direction so normal reaction is equals to mz and force is equals to mu times n so force towards radial direction that is the center towards the center is equals to mu times n and n is basically given by mz so mu is equals to mz because in the vertical direction this is in equilibrium so if you see this object in the vertical direction there is a force that is acting n and in this side you have acting mz and n is equals to mz so friction force is given by mu mz and mu is given by k naught 1 minus r by capital r so this is the force to our center this is basically fairly easy problem so force to our center 1 minus r by r mz so this is the force to our center this is a frictional force this should be equals to mv square by r mv square by r so r goes out so i will have v square I have expression for v square is k naught into z if i multiply by r so r minus r square by r are you getting now if I differentiate so I need B should be maximum so I need B maximum so this means B square should also be maximum so if I differentiate this dV square by dr because V square is a function of R I will have kg and R differentiation of R is 1 R square is 2R by R this is equals to 0 so I will have R is equals to so 1 minus 2 r by r is equals to 0 let me explain it so this is equals to 0 so I will have a small r is capital R by 2 so when radius is capital R by 2 you will have maximum velocity you can find what is the maximum velocity value you can find from here so v square is you plug the value of r r is r by 2 so k naught z r by 2 minus r square by 4 by r so r square by 4r so i will have k naught z and this will be r r by 4 so k naught z r by 4 so this is the maximum velocity square so velocity will be under root kgr by 2 
so if you take root you will have kgr by 2 so this is the maximum permissible velocity by which this motor bike can move along this circumference now if you see this problem this is a fairly easy problem only thing is in this case friction coefficient is not constant this is generally the case if you see sometime in the life you will find along the center the friction coefficient is more and if you go away from the center friction coefficient is less so this is a this is a let us say this is a field you have a field that is a circular field in which in the middle of field there is more friction if you go away from the center there is a less friction this means in the middle you have sand but outwards towards this field so in the center you have sand kind of thing and if you go away you have soil and this soil is slippy soil that is a bed soil so in the middle you have sand sand will have a high friction if you go away from the middle that is the periphery of the field you will have less friction are you getting or not? So this is a fairly easy problem. I think all of you have done this one. So please copy fast if you have not copied. So I have taken B a square If B is maximum then B a square also has to be maximum and that's why we have only differentiated B a square There is no need to find B and then differentiate. I can simply differentiate B a square because V is maximum then V a square has to be maximum and that is the thing we are using. These are the easy problem basically. This is the easiest problem we have done. Now let us go for the next problem. 